Okay, I am watching a football game and drinking some Mountain Dew while I try to figure out how to fix this Vectrex controller that I have. Now the controller returns to center left and right, but not up and down. Now I remember seeing a video a long time ago. I wish I could remember who it was. Uh, I tried to search for it, couldn't find it. All I know is it was a guy that spoke German, but I think it was German. Actually, I don't remember. So I'm going to try and fix this. And I recall that he pulled a spring out of an Atari 2600 cartridge to do the repair. So I'm going to try and do this without having any reference material. Uh, I've already removed the screws. I remember there being five screws. And sadly, when I was pulling it up, I heated this. And I started with this corner over here. And I heated it up, and it came loose very easy. And then I heated this up over here, and it came loose very, very easy. Then I began heating it up so I could get this fifth screw up in the top corner here, and as you can see, it delaminated and curled and made a mess, and hopefully I'll be able to press this back into place and make it presentable, but um, I don't know. We'll find out. That makes me very sad, but I swear I'm going to kill my children. They just don't listen. Anyway, if you hear all that banging around and screaming, that's my kids upstairs that don't listen when I tell them to be quiet. All right, so we'll flip this thing over and show you the inside. Let me pull the base here out of the way. And as I look in here, I'll hold it up here so you guys can see. You can see how it moves up and down and left and right. Now it returns back to center left and right, but not so up and down. Oops, I'm sorry, you couldn't see that. Yeah, this is the up and down here. And I can see a little spring in there that moves. You can kind of see it clicking around there. So I need to take this piece out to see if I can repair it. And the donor spring is coming out of this Atari 2600 cartridge, uh, one of which that I had multiple. Well, here, this, by the way, is what an Atari 2600 cartridge looks like inside. You have this giant cartridge for this tiny little board. And this is the spring that I'm looking for right here. There it is. Let's set these off to the side. Outlaw is what that is. I've got like three or four outlaws, and this one had like a missing label, and it's just all nasty looking. So it's getting sacrificed. Now I need to take out, let's see here, this one here. And hopefully I'll be able to figure this out without destroying the thing. I'm trying to move a little closer so you can get a better view here. Oh, I swear. I don't know how well you guys can hear that, but my kids are going to be severely abused in a minute. And for those of you out there that have no sense of humor, no, I'm not actually going to abuse my children. Although, believe me, I've considered it. I don't actually know how this is attached in here, so we're learning together. Oh, there's the... Stick. I have not the slightest idea how I'm going to get that out of there. Looks like maybe it slides up. Hmm. I don't know. Um, might have to bend these pins out is what it looks like. Let's see if I can show you that here. Or not pins, but these little things here look like they'll bend up. Give that a try here. This would be much easier if I wasn't having to listen to my children make a racket upstairs while I'm trying to watch a football game on television. There's two minutes and four seconds left. It's second and seven. And the Browns are driving for a field goal to win the game, which is actually pretty big news because the Browns are terrible. It's 
So sorry, my attention's divided about four different ways here. And I cannot get under that last one. There we go. Bend them out just a little bit more. Um, Peyton Hillis just got tackled short of the line of scrimmage. All right. And that comes off of there. That is what it looks like on the inside. Well, not that you can focus real well. What have we got in here? Got a whole mess. There's a little C clip in here that's got to come out. Um, oh, that whole thing's going to come off. I really wish I could have found that guy's video. So I'd have some reference, but I suppose it's not so bad figuring it out myself. And yeah, that is definitely a broken spring. That is what's left of the spring. It is actually in two pieces. And it looks very, very similar to my donor spring. So, it looks like it's definitely going to be too long. I'll get an idea of how long to make this here. I'll trim some of it off. Um, Alright, I'm going to trim it a little bit long. So that I don't... Or so that I do, rather, have some more room to work. And then I'll try and trim it back off again to the right length once I've got everything back together. All right, let's see how this is gonna work here. All right, let's see what this spring looked like when it was in one piece. When it was in one piece, it was bent out like that. So I've got to bend mine to look like that. So let's see here, bend out, bend out, wow, that is a long, bad field goal. Poor Phil Dawson, it's not his fault. So I've now bent it out, like so, and I'm going to slide it over. Oh, if I can hang on to it. It's my big fat inarticulate fingers again. Slide this over that there. Like so. And you can see, whoops. <laughs> Bless America. Uh, when I slide it over top of this, the ends actually fit right inside these little grooves here. I'm going to hopefully slide the whole thing back over top, like so. And now, ooh, that self centers very nice. All right, so I got everything slid back on here, and it returns to center nicely. So, what I'm going to do is trim off the excess spring like so and actually I'll look here first sticks up not quite an eighth of an inch so that's what I'll leave on mine Ooh, you stay on there and that just flew somewhere off into the carpet for me to step on later and I'm going to take this little piece here and you know what before I put this together It's got, I don't know if you can see it on the video or not. No, you really can't, but there's a little copper sensor here. I'm going to clean that off first while I'm in here because it never hurts to clean off any contacts that you come in contact with, no pun intended. Copper, so they get kind of corroded. All I'm doing is 
brushing it gently with the end of my pocket knife here. Oh, this is bad. Bengals are about to drive in and score on the Browns with 51 seconds left. They really, really need to strip that ball. Come on. There's one. There we go. Okay, now I've got everything reassembled and it returns to center left and right and it returns to center up and down. Now, that is how you repair a Vectrex controller joystick when the joystick doesn't return back to center. I'm going to clean this up before I put it back together, and I should have a perfectly working Vectrex controller. For anybody who wants to attempt this, uh, hopefully this video will help, or you know what, feel free to message me and let me know if you have any questions.